OptMimic, Imitation of Optimized Trajectories for Dynamic Quadruped Behaviors. In this work, we develop a control method to enable dynamic and agile motions for a quadruped robot, such as these four motions that we are seeing on the Solo 8 robot that we were able to achieve. We are motivated by the recent advances in both trajectory optimization and reinforcement learning based methods for motion control. In particular, we wish to combine the fast, intuitive, and precise motion specification capabilities of trajectory optimization based control, such as model predictive control, with the scalability of reinforcement learning towards model complexity or even randomized dynamics to enable robust real world deployment. Past work has demonstrated that. This kind of combination is possible through uh, RL imitation of optimized trajectories. However, these works uh, tuned an RL training environment specifically to each type of motion that was being optimized, where since the one of the advantages of optimization is the ability to design and iterate through the motions quickly, this is arguably lost if we need to tune an RL environment specifically to each motion that we create. So in our work, we develop a single RL training environment that enables imitation of all four of the motions that you saw earlier, which you achieve with the following architecture. Trajectory optimization is first used to create an open loop trajectory that is valid for a simplified model of the physics. Then reinforcement learning is used to create a neural network feedback controller, which can be deployed on a physical robot without any online model adaptations or learning. And we note that the motion specific design happens only in the trajectory optimization phase, whereas the reinforcement learning, which takes orders of magnitude more computation time, is fixed across all four of the motions that we demonstrate. Going into more detail, the trajectory optimization uses a single rigid body model to create uh, motions that are feasible for it, given some rough initial guess motion sketch, which in this case is exhibiting uh, first sliding artifact, which is removed after the optimization. With the reinforcement learning, its uh, purpose is to transfer the optimized motions to that of a realistic physics uh, simulator. And the RL observations are the sensor information provided from the robot, as well as a timing variable to synchronize the reference and the real robot motion. And the action is a PD target joint angle residual that is added onto the reference joint angles. And the reward used for RL consists primarily of a motion imitation term, but also some regularization terms, such as the action smoothness, which prevents the vibrations that we were observing on the robot, as well as a max torque reward to prevent high peak currents from causing power supply issues from heavy impacts with the ground. So using these methods, we were able to achieve the four motions that you saw earlier. Now we are seeing visualizations of what each step of this pipeline looks like for each of the four motions that we demonstrate in this work. Most notable is this bipedal stepping behavior because we believe we are the first to demonstrate this on physical quadruped robot hardware with point feet. Even more notable is our Solo 8 robot that we used has only 8 degrees of freedom, which means that the feet cannot move sideways in the configuration shown here. Our second result is this analysis of feed forward configuration. Using trajectory optimization as reference for RL, we are given additional information about the uh, joint velocities or torques that is physically feasible. However, past work discarded this information. In our research, we were interested to see if we can use this for improved results. What we found is that using the joint velocity causes uh, stiffer motions that are less reactive to perturbations. And more problematically, this causes some power supply issues whenever there are hard impacts. However, using the torque we found to be advantageous because this provides active gravity compensation whenever a foot is uh, touching the ground. But despite these symptom real differences, we didn't observe any noticeable differences in the training speed as evident from these training curves. We do some ablation to see which components of our system are important. If we don't use trajectory optimization and use just the kinematic sketch trajectories as references to the RL, we find that uh, it fails to train some of the motions. And additionally, if we skip the RL, 
and use uh, the optimized trajectories directly on the simulator robot. This also does not work because uh, these are open loop control and also the, the motions are optimized for a simplified model which does not transfer to the realistic physics model of the robot. Additionally, we identified some limitations of the methods that we use. Uh, we, we think that these contribute to some of the lack of robustness and repeatability that we were seeing on the physical robot experiments. Uh, we invite you to read the paper for a detailed discussion of these limitations as well as uh, some solutions that we think will uh, solve these issues. <laughs> In conclusion, we present a single RO environment which achieves sim to real imitation of four optimized motions. One of these motions is the first demonstration of bipedal stepping on a point for a quadruped robot as far as we are aware. And we additionally analyze free forward configuration. So thank you very much for listening.